Good morning. I want to welcome you to my quiet time with God. This morning I opened up Streams in the Desert and I had handwritten that my mother's death when she was taken to be with the Lord was what I was looking at. And in that moment, I had a choice whether to take up the offense because of my mother's death. There was a lot of circumstances around it that I've worked for several years now to forgive. But at that moment, God said, remain postured in forgiveness. And I said, yes, Lord. And then I heard, is my blood enough to pay for those that sinned against you concerning your mother's death? I said, yes, Lord, your blood's enough. And at that moment, I literally felt myself being lifted up as if I was in an elevator, being lifted up from the circumstances. I looked back down on the book and there was the pain was gone. There was no pain looking at my handwritten declaration that my mother transitioned on this date. The pain was gone. I literally felt myself seated in heavenly places and I knew God said this was the goal for each of us that as we accept the blood of Jesus as payment in full for those who have sinned against us just like Jesus said Father forgive them they know not what they do what happened to him next he is transitioned up above, up above. And Paul said it this way, we can now be seated in heavenly places high above the principalities and the powers of darkness, okay? And I really believe we have taken the blood of Jesus too lightly. I believe we have minimized it. We have overlooked it. We've not experienced the power of the blood of Jesus, that when we receive His blood as payment in full, and those who have sinned against us owe us nothing, then the weight that we carried for years, carrying the pain and the unforgiveness, is dropped and we are lifted up above it, okay? We're seated then in a higher position than we once were, and that's how our Father God promotes us in the spirit realm. We are taking our position as His children in the seat He has placed us in according to who He's called us to be. So if each one of us, listen to me, if each one of us could take one person one situation today, today, and choose to forgive, choose to receive the blood. The blood is enough, Lord Jesus. Thank you for shedding your blood. Your blood is enough to pay the debt that I've been looking to that person to pay me. Your blood's enough. If we could each one do that and receive his blood, can you imagine the move of God that could take place? Because He would move each of His children to a higher place, to a seat He's called them to sit in, in heavenly places, and it could be a move across this country. If everyone take that step to receive the blood, that would be a true move of God. That's a move. That's a move. That's being moved by the Holy Spirit of God out of the circumstances you've been in. And God move you to a heavenly place high above it. Now there'll be a test. When I open the devotional book and I look down again at the date that my mother was taken, transitioned, left to go to heaven, there was no pain there. There was no unforgiveness, nothing. I felt my full freedom from it. And that is what I am asking God to do to each one that hears this video and but more than that, I want Revelation 12. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Okay, receive the blood and the word of our testimony. 
Do you know that when you give your testimony of what God's doing for you, it's going to move somebody else? This could be a true move of God. You're moved to forgive. You share your testimony out loud that you received the blood and now you will move someone else as you share your testimony. It'll move them. We're moved by the Holy Spirit of God. Let us hear from you. Let us hear your testimony. Say it out loud to someone. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. God bless you.